Hi guys, it's Ayla here and welcome back to another tips and tricks clip. In this clip we will get to know a feature in RFAM that allows us to convert area loads automatically to member loads. As a model we have here a steel frame and instead of applying single member loads on each of these members here, we can find up here on the tools and then generate loads the options from area loads on members we are plane or cells. We will start off with generating loads via plane and if we click this option you can see a new dialog box pops up. As the area load direction we will choose the global C direction and we will apply a load magnitude for instance of 2 kN per square meter. All we have to do now is to choose the corner nodes where we would like to apply the area load. And by doing this, it's important to make sure closing the plane so that the members are getting highlighted like this. Down here, we have additionally the option to exclude members which are parallel to a certain member by graphically choosing, for instance, this member. And then we click OK. So the program now has created the area load as we can see this by the gray line here. To see how this load is applied to each member we can right click and then choose display separately. A second option what we do have in RFM is to generate area loads via cells as we've seen in the beginning of this video. So for this we go up to tools again, then generate loads and this time we choose via cells. So we have basically the same procedure once again as load direction we choose C direction, the load magnitude let's say maybe this time we enter 1 kN per square meter. And the difference now is that we are choosing instead of applying existing cells out of the model. Let's choose for instance these cells here. As a next step we will also exclude these members here. Then we click OK to generate the area load. So thank you for watching and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe.